edition of the Commentary Zone, where I'm your hostess with the mostest, Norman, of the Transportation Hub YouTube channel. We're coming to you with another commentary. Today, we shall be talking about the BX6 Crosstown, South Bronx Crosstown Select Bus Service. For those of you who don't know or don't live in the Bronx, don't live anywhere near the bus route, the BX6 bus operates at all times between the Hunts Point Food Center all the way down and Bronx Bottom, aka South Bronx. And it travels cross town through the South Bronx all the way out, all the way out to Riverside Drive in Manhattan, in the west side of Manhattan. This commentary is brought to you part by the Metropolitan Transportation Authority and the New York City Department of Transportation. Both of those combined together to make your commute better. Have we seen this picture? There's like a massive crowd, people from be people from beside the shelter come to enter, coming to enter the bus, and you have people crowding up, crowding up crowding all up on the bus door trying to enter the bus. And for those of you who don't know what type of bus this is, this is a 1996-78-8 Nova Bus RTS number 4983 was the, was property of the West Farm Depot. All, all High 4 Series bus fleets soon to be retired. Okay, okay. What's on the agenda for today? The agenda for today is Project Background, 155th Street by the Proposal, BX6 Plan Service, and later on the video, later on the end of this video, we will do a little Q&A session. Okay, the BX6 Bus Background. The BX6 South Bronx Corridor was identified as a potential candidate for select bus service in 2009's Bus Rapid Transit Phase 2 study. It serves nearly 25,000 daily riders, including 7,200 in Manhattan. When you, add all, all, when you add all those up together, that'll give you a total of... That'll give you the grand total of... 32,200 riders overall. Connects to the 1 train, 157th Street Station, C train, 155th Street Station, 4 B and D trains at 161st Street, Yankee Stadium, the 2 and 5 trains at either Prospect Avenue or Intervale Avenue, and the 6 train at Hunts Point Avenue. Metro North Line, 20 bus routes along along the along its path, including the SBSBX41. 76% of households within a quarter mile of the route do not own a vehicle. And if you do own a vehicle, it's rather best that you leave it. Because traveling to Manhattan, crazy. On the right on the left side you see residence mode to work. 67% public transit, 5% work from home, 3% other, don't know what the other is, 10% just walk to work, and 50% drives. Total five year estimate along the quarter mile of the BX6 corridor. Select Bus Service in New York City. Select Bus Service SBS is New York City's brand name for bus rapid transit. An improved bus service that offers fast, frequent, and reliable services on high ridership bus routes. SBS has brought, has brought 10 to 30% faster bus speeds, about 10% increase in ridership, more reliable service, customer satisfaction of 95%, Safer streets and reduction of crashes. There are exactly 12 select bus service routes in operation serving all the five boroughs. 
here we have right here in the bottom of Staten Island, the S79 is the only one. In Brooklyn, we have two S79, Highland Boulevard, Richmond Avenue, Staten Island. Here in Brooklyn, we have the B44, No Strain Rogers, Bedford Avenue, SBS. SBS. And the B46, Utica Avenue, Malcolm X Boulevard. In Queens, we have two of them. Two to three of them. Well, let me just do the rest anyway, because since they're combined as one. Since they're combined as one. <laughs> we have the M15, 1st, 2nd Avenues, M23, 23rd Street, Crosstown, M34, M34, 34th Street, Crosstown, M86, M86, 86th Street, Crosstown, M60, 125th Street, Astoria Boulevard, LaGuardia Airport, Manhattan, and Queens, Q70, Brooklyn, Queens, Q70 SBS, aka the LaGuardia Link, the Brooklyn Queens Expressway, LaGuardia Airport, Q44 Main Street, Cross Bronx Service Road, BX41 Webster Avenue, and BX12 Pelham Parkway, Fordham Road. And before the debut of the BX6 SBS coming up this summer, and later on, later on the season coming up in late spring shall be the debut of the M79 SBS, one of the slowest bus routes in the city that will become a select bus service route later on this spring. Stay, stay tuned for that. The features of select bus service, we've been over this. Dedicated bus lanes, signal priority for buses, off-board fare off collection, and all-door boarding. Faster bus rides, reduce traffic conflicts between buses and traffic, more reliable bus service, buses spend less time at red stoplights, buses spend less, less time stopped at red lights, quicker bus boarding, buses spend less time waiting at bus stops. Oh, and please note, there are only a few SBS routes that will operate at all times. Remember that. Okay, the, the select bus service features improved station amnesties, real-time passenger information, and pedestrian safety improvements, more attractive appealing bus stops, better trip information for, ra for riders to know when the bus is coming, more comfortable wait for the bus, better visibility for pedestrians, bus operators, and drivers. Clearer, shorter pedestrian crossings. Okay, true. And please note, not all SBS routes operate 24-7. Well, they operate seven days a week, but not 24 hours of the day. Here are the following routes that will that does operate at all times. You have you have DM60. DM86, the Q44, the Q70, and the M23. And coming this, and coming this, some coming later on this spring season, the M79 will become the sixth SBS route to have a 24 hour operation span. And they'll be based out of everyone's favorite depot, the Michael J. Quill Depot. And as we said, and as we discussed in the previous, previous commentary based on the M79, that was based on the M79, that all Arctic routes from the Michael J. Quill Depot is determined to become a select bus service route. The only one that will not be an SBS route in the meantime will be the M14. And it will become both M14A and D, both A and D, will become select bus service routes, will become select bus service routes in the future, immediately before the closure of the, of the Canarsie tubes. 
Manhattan Data Collection and Community Engagement. Here we have the previous meetings. Manhattan Bronx on street outreach has been going on from November 2015, June 2016. 2016. During A and peak, during A and peak at six locations, received 578 indi individual comments and distributed over over 1,300 BX6 SBS information cards in English and Spanish. Because it's the Bronx. There's a lot of Spanish-speaking people that live in the Bronx. Because it's a Spanish-speaking borough. So yeah. Traffic and pedestrian data collection. October 2015 to June 2016. Online feedback portal launch. November 2015 received 59 specific comments. <sighs> And Manhattan Community Boards 9, 10, 11, 12 that has been happening from from all of 2016 between June and September. And these two Manhattan Community Board meetings, meetings 9 and 10, this happened in April 2017. Both of them just passed. Yes, yes. If you guys want to comment more on the South Bronx, you can do it on the New York City Department of Transportation's website, website where they have the comment portal, and you can just write all the comments that you want. Okay, moving on now. 155th Street Viaduct Proposals. One fifty fifth Street Harlem Harlem Drive Harlem River Driveway, Edgecombe Avenue, existed. Yep, they're gonna need a lot of fix on that. I'm not gonna bore you. I'm not gonna bore you guys in this one, so we can fix that. Yeah, they need to fix that. That's before the fix up. Westbound one one lane feeds into two lanes. Eastbound heavy right turn volume traffic backups. Mm-hmm. And this will be his proposal. Shift double yellow set line to add extra westbound lane. Add westbound lane on portion of 155th Street Viaduct. Future 155th Street Viaduct bus stops. Here we have the McCombs Dam Bridge. New westbound BX local bus stop right there. A new eastbound BX6 local stop. Mm -hmm. And here is the BX6 service plan. The current existing BX6 is a mass combination of RTSs, which, which the West Farm Depot don't have anymore, which the West Farm Depot don't have anymore. We have the new Flyer C40 LFs. The 2002, 2003, 2004 Orion 7 CNG, CNG, they're being retired and replaced by one of the hottest newbies to ever hit the streets of New York. All blue, gold streets, I love New York signage on the side, the 2016 and 2017 new flyer XN40. CNG Excelsior buses. Here's the existing BX6. Overcrowded, congested, long, la 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 la, yada yada yada. All the complaints you got it, you can name them. And here's what it looks like with the pointed arrows after select bus transition. Please note, ever notice? That, that there's a local and a limited counterpart, and the limited counterpart becomes an SBS route while a local part remains the same or gets changed. Or remember that a local route is so popular that it just straight that it just straight up become an SBS route. Well, for the BX6 right here, it's different. Before SBS, before SBS transition. 
transition, transition, the BX6 is all local, all local, no limited. After select bus service transition is the BX6 SBS stops only at SBS stops and the BX6 local will also stop at every stop. So not only after SBS transition, not only is the BX6 still going to have its local counterpart, we'll also have an SBS counterpart added to the route as well. And that is your future service plan. Here is the BX6 stops. If you look at the key section right here, look at the key map section right here, in all blue is the BX6 SBS route. And the BX6 local eastbound, light blue, a little circles with the big plus, BX6 SBS stops, and right along there, subways, the subways, other SBS routes, Metro North Station, mm -hmm. connect with the Metro North Station right there, and connect to all the other subway line stations. BX6 SBS at stops show. BX6 local at nearby all current stops. Bus frequencies will be split between the BX6 SBS and BX6 local. So as you can see in the map, these are all the stops that will become a BX6 SBS stop. Riverside Drive, 157 to Amsterdam, Amsterdam Avenue, only three SBS stops in Manhattan. We'll go into detail with the Manhattan section later. Right now, River Avenue, connect with the 4 B and D, Sherman Avenue, Melrose Avenue, BX21 SBS, Metro North Railroad Station, Third Avenue, Prospect Avenue, Prospect Avenue, oh, and Intervale Avenue, where you can transfer to the 2 and 5, Southern Boulevard and Bruckner Boulevard. There. Connect with the Hunts Point Avenue 6 train, Seneca Avenue, Coaster Street, Eastbound, Hunts Point, Hunts Point Avenue, Spotford Avenue, Westbound, Halleck Street, Halleck Street, Spotford Avenue, Halleck Street Food Center Drive, Vile Avenue, Vile Avenue, Vile Rada Avenues, Farragut Street, Hunts Point Market, and the last stop. Food Center Drive Terminal, all, all around the Hunts Point Circle. And that is your future BX6 SBS stops. And here is your Manhattan. Here is your Manhattan BX6 bus stops. Yeah, yeah, you see the keys. The only thing that's not shown here is, is the start of the bridge or underpass. And the eliminated stop. And see these light blue stops? They'll be BX6 local stops only. Subway station right there. Okay. Remember, like we discussed, only three SBS stops in Manhattan for the BX6. While all the other stops pointing in light blue will remain to be local stops only. For those, oh, another thing, for those of you who ride the C, the A, who rides the C train, the A and C line, along St. Nicholas Avenue, will have, and you want the BX6 SBS, will have to converge to Amsterdam Avenue. We'll have to walk, it's not a pretty far walk, we'll have to walk one block to Amsterdam Avenue and for Amsterdam Avenue passengers and for A and C passengers and for BX6 passengers who wants to connect to the A and C trains along at West 155th Street will have to get off at Amsterdam Avenue and walk to the train. And here oh 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 one more thing BX local stop BX Local routes, local routes to be to remain the same. 
discontinued stop right here on East 161st Street and Jerome Avenue. Discontinued stop right there. But the BX6 SBS will not will not curve and turn and turn turn to scale on 61st Street. We'll just go straight on the bridge. We'll just go straight on the bridge and right turn at East 161st Street. That's the BX6 SBS headed to Hunts Point. Here are your next steps. Spring 2017, meet with Manhattan Community Boards. Install fare machines at SBS stops and implement street signage. Implement street designs. And in summer 2017, launch VX6 SBS. Look at the 2003, 2003 Orion 7 CNG bus number 7642. Look, it's so bright and beautiful. And that is our commentary. If you want to know more about the BX6 SBS, you can always check out my commentary or visit the website or visit the MICDOT website. Website. Site. Or you can comment below. You can comment below this commentary video if you have more questions or discussions about the upcoming BX6 SBS. And as you can see in this video, in this picture right here, that is the 161st 3rd Street Crosstown Streetcar. How beautiful is that? So beautiful, so vintage. Formerly known as the BX34 route, which is currently now the BX6 bus route that we all know today. And that is our commentary. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and please check out the rest of my previous videos. Previous videos. And please also be part of the Transit Justice Movement the tra and the Transit Justice for All. Please be part of the Transit Justice for All Revolution and please be part of the Transit Justice Movement. This is Norman with the Transit Station Hub signing off. Peace, love, joy, and laughter, and have a blessed day. Oh, and P.S. Oh, and P.S. Before I upload the commentary, I'll be uploading the BX6 bus action. I'll be uploading the BX6 bus action along West 125th Street. In the meantime, enjoy. Oh, hello everyone. This is your host with the most, Norman of the Transportation Hub. I also forgot to mention to you guys about, about these new clean energy electric buses that the MTA will be testing out later on this year. Here we have, in this first picture right here, is the Proterra, is the, is the Proterra bus that will only be available at the Grand Avenue Bus Depot for the B32 and B39 bus routes. He wrap, here's is wrapped up in all blue with the gold schemes with empty electric bus, clean air, clean energy bus, electric bus, blah, 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 with the New York State logo on the, on the left side, on the driver's side on the left. On the bottom left side of the, and on the bottom left side of the driver's seat, on the driver's side, is the New York State logo and what we have over here at the bottom section is a I believe a C40LF once again the New York State logo on the bottom left side of the driver of the driver's side of the driver's side here he is all Blue, Gold Streets, Gold Streets, Clean Energy Bus, Electric Bus, Clean Air, Clean Electric Bus, property of the MTA. And it's going to be a new Flyer C40LF. That bus will be going to the Michael J. Quill Depot, only to be used on the M42 bus route. And possibly the East New York bus 
and possibly easier guard two for the B42. Once again, if you want to know more about these buses, you can check out their article of the new of their new electric buses on the MTA website. Once again, this is Norman of the Transportation Hub signing off. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest and fresh transportation content. Please, lo peace, love, laughter, deuces, and have a blessed day.